Hey guys, today we're trying Anodyne 2, Return to Dust. Um... What settings do I want to change? Probably... I think we're fine. These are some retro visuals. A warm breeze fills the air. A paper floats by and comes to rest on the ground. It is a letter. It reads, Summer, 2019. Dear player, Thank you for playing Anodyne 2 Return to Dust. It is somewhat of a spiritual successor. It has narrative and thematic ties to the first Anodyne, but features a completely new world and characters. That is to say, the two games can be enjoyed in any order. At times, the world of Anodyne 2 may be a strange or confusing place, but at its heart is a story of human struggles and relationships. Now, come on. Let's go on a curious and wonderful journey together. Melos Hantani and Marina Kiteka. The figure with string instrument. Some say that life is a circle. Madness. All things grow from a point, a center. Everything to come was already here. It melts out of a tiny capsule like a sponge in bloom. The beauty is to witness the true shape of the primordial point, its fractals unfurled to their limits, the atomic, indivisible tips of its tentacles. Time, after all, is a looking glass. An illusion, and yet, the truest way to see ourselves. Stunning words as always, friend. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. The one we are here to meet is barely a baby, not yet hatched. We must lead her gently into the bright light of the world. Oh look, our precious Nova seems to be stirring. The following are the first words that Nova will ever hear. In time, the contents of the speech will fade into obscurity, but she will never forget first hearing this voice. Ah, yes, this voice, so fragrant, so beautiful, that Nova felt like crying. Had she been blessed with tear ducts, perhaps she would have. You may have forgotten how hard it is when you first realize that you exist. Nova certainly felt that now, but when she heard this creature speak, she thought, perhaps it might be worth it. Nova. Nova, can you hear me? Take a deep breath, my darling, then open your eyes. From the darkness, an orange glow, and from the silence, the crashing of waves. Oh yeah. Definitely an intentional attempt at retro aesthetics with these particular aliasing and everything. There she is. Still a little woozy, are you? Don't worry, it's natural to feel disoriented when you first gain consciousness. Child, your name is Nova, and you are an extraordinary creature with a unique ability to shrink to microscopic sizes. It will come quite in handy, as you'll soon see. My name is Palisade, and I'm here with C. Salmist. Together, we will serve as your caretakers and your guides. Palisade, the shield. We committed to this aesthetic so far, but this text is very, very vector. <laughs> that sweet voice definitely lifts. <laughs> we'll fight for you. The psalmist, the musician, de dedicated songwriter, awkward around kids, kind of a nerd. <laughs> Mommies? <laughs> All right. Caretakers and guides. Would you like to say hello to Nova, Sea Salmist? Um, er, uh, greetings, young Nova. It is I, Sea Salmist. I am speaking to you from outside of your egg. Um, hmm. Space, after all, is an illusion. It could be likened to a looking glass. A looking glass is a mirror, by the way. I used to think it was a telescope or a microscope. You know, uh, 
some kind of tube-shaped object. Thank you for that enlightening clarification, Sea Psalmist. Now, Nova, a Sea sal Psalmist, okay, I'll never get used to this name, mentioned, you are currently inside of your egg. In order to hatch and truly begin your life, you will ride the hatch line monorail that leaves from the top of the hill. What? But, uh, uh, you can only leave if you obtain the sacred Glandelock Seed. Of course. For now, you may think of the Glandelock Seed as your ticket to ride. I don't think that Nova needs allegory to understand what you're saying. She doesn't understand anything yet. She was just born. <laughs> First, speak to the three Yolk figures. <laughs> Each Yolk will give you a special item that will prepare you to host a Glandelock seed. Then speak to the Chalaza tree at the highest point of the island. Go get him, Nova. I'm losing my mind. First, I had a jump. You can jump a second time in midair, and you can do a slow fall. Look at me go. The strange figure is silent. Is it alive? Nova wonders. Nonetheless, its gaze beckons her. Enter my round gold plate, it seems to say. Ye shall find a part of this complete breakfast. <laughs> The yolk and Nova's fate begin to resonate. The presence of a new nanopoint in the air. Spark this being and reveal its nanopoint. Shrink forth, nano. Cleaner, Nova. I... These words are just coming at me right now. Interact with the environment by firing off a spark. Press X. Shoot a spark at the yolk. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I have a suck gun. Hey, wait, Nova. I'm a helpful Yolcrobe, not a deadly dust virus. Please just talk to me. Yolkwanda the Yolkrobe. Wow, we. Our very own cleaner has come to visit. Oh gosh, oh gosh, and I'm the first nano friend she'll see. Boy howdy, gotta keep it together and remember my lines. Yolk Wanda and Yolk Crow. I, I hope she comes over here and presses Y to talk to me. I t <laughs> the aesthetic in this game I'm getting a kick out of, but it's super dialogue heavy so far. Yolk Wanda the Yolk Crow. <laughs> Hey there, Nova. You've been shrunk inside the microscopic interior of the yolk of yummy, the most important yolk of the day. Here, you'll find your provisions to keep your future Gladys Luck seed happy and healthy. Nope, that's all they say. Welcome. Rocks are surprisingly diverse and come in a number of shapes and sizes. <clears throat> Though by divine fate, many of the rocks here look the same. Be sure to talk to all of us. The tutorial rocks. That's a checkpoint, so it saves you. Oh! Oh, I just sucked up a rock and shot the other rock. Nova will love her yar so sent center berry burst cereal because it contains trace amounts of 17 micronutrients in center recommended rations. And Gladys Luck Seed will love its panted, crunchy, cool taste. Hmm. Sure, I can't just eat him. We should just eat him. Maybe he's maybe he's naughty. Boof. Boof. There you go. There are some colorful rock-like obstructions blocking your path. Try using your nano vacuum to suck stuff out of the way. Largely figured that out already. Hmm. What if we had a glass luxury of our very own? Eep, never mind me. We may talk a big game here in the Yoko Yummy, but the development of delicious 
and nutritious, crispy puffed comestibles is all we know. He's playing an uprising. He must be removed. Removed! Before they figure out what they're capable of. Uh oh. Sometimes rocks get in the way, but other times they can be very helpful. Don't paint every rock with a broad brush, that's all I'm saying, unless you paint them with really cool. A lady at my church painted a rock so it looked like a tiger. Little whiskers <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Pretty neat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Congratulations, you are truly deserving of our grandest A. Atlantis Lock Food. Cartoon characters will suffer many fraught encounters due to high quality of our Canterbury Burst cereal, but we can tell you will be good steward of our Gladys Luck Seed. Nova found the Centerberry Burst cereal, one of the three elements of, nu of nurturing. With it, a Gladys Luck Seed will have all the carbs it needs to take home in Nova's head. Okay. So we're trying to construct a good breakfast so we can escape our birth egg. A little harsh that we've been we've existed as a female for less than te technically negative time if you count from our birth that hasn't happened yet, and we're already being expected to be the host of a seed. I dig the visuals. A lot of talking so far though, and not a lot of hello. And I haven't really done much, really any gameplay, still. Shooting the blocks at each other was not really like, I don't, I don't know, I didn't have to think at all, yet. Didn't feel like a test of skill or thought. And yet they're like, congratulations, you did it! You're so good! Oh god, the entire horizon. Up there it looks like a sky, kind of, but over there it's like the veins of the inside of an egg, because it's all yolk. That's... Stressing. Is this mold? Is my egg molding? Am I having a bad time? Am I okay? The second yolk figure sways in the breeze with a profound sense of chill. Dude, it seems to say, riding the milky waves. The yolk and Nova's fate begin to resonate. The presence of a new nanopoint in the air. Spark this being to reveal its nanopoint. Shrink forth, nano cleaner Nova. Yolk of Sippy? Sippy Yolk Robe. Yo, Nova! Welcome to this Yolk of Sippy. Some people say that a Gladilux seed ought to drink eight dew drops of our homemade Sippy Yolk milk per cell cycle, but we here in the Sippy Zone think you can chill with the math and just go with the flow. Gladys Luxe is like the direct line to the center, you dig? Just keep your mind open, you know, and the answers will find you. Wanted dust virus, Mr. Spiky. He may just sit there, but this virus has been shouting some very rude comments at our poor Yolkrobes. Try shooting a block at him. And be sure to suck up any dust he might leave behind. <laughs> this guy said something rude. Try killing him. What if you killed him? You should kill him. He said something rude. Kill him. Kill him to death. Now he's dead. Haha. -ha. Kill him. This is a fair thing to do. <laughs> this makes sense. Just do a murder on him. He earned it. He deserves it. Mmm, nothing like a little sippy yolk milk to make those Gladys Luck tendrils grow drooping strong. Just ride that high, Nova, ride that high. Bloop. We are beginning to have enemies. <clears throat> they don't move though, or attack. Wanted, dust virus, mild tempered slime. Don't be fooled by their adorable gooey exterior. If left unchecked, they, these pesky ruffians can cause serious illness in the body of their host. Unlike Mr. Spiky, they're safe to back him up. I get what they're going for here, but I'm pretty bored. 
Like, oh, look at this children's aesthetic. Like, there's like, there's like all these colorful tiles and like the block. They look like alphabet blocks and stuff, but like, I still have to play it. <laughs> Nova, you made it to the Yelp Milk, of course. You just relax and let it flow, am I right? Got the Yelp Milk. With it, Gladilux Seed will have all the government-approved nutrients needed to spread far and wide inside Nova's head. I am. I don't know how much I like inviting something to spread inside of my head. I wonder how much you play in this mode. Cause it's nice to look at this weird retro aesthetics PS3, PS1 visuals area. But so far it's just a hub. It definitely resembles mold. The final yolk figure seems to gaze upon Nova with a warm yet analytical eye. Ah, hmm, yes, 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 it seems to say. A perfect host in need of a perfect reguloid. The yolk of Cozy. game's like luring me into a sense of sleepiness <laughs> which I mean we go into like this padded room full of like quilting and it's called the yolk of cozy and I guess not entirely unintentional huh welcome to the yolk of cozy yes yes are you are you feeling comfortable yes yes we have carefully trained these reguloids to adapt the local atmosphere your but to your body's precise particularities Temperature, salinity, acidity, lugubridity, and so forth. Hmm, yes. Woof. Temperature. Uh, translation, temperature, 36 degrees. Yolken height, of course. Die. <laughs> hmm, yes. Yes. A little cereal. A little yolk milk, yes. Such things are quite necessary. However, as the old saying goes, Gladys Lux seed cannot live in on indigestion on ingestion alone. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Yes. 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 Ouch, watch it! You're gonna chip my paint. If you want me to open, just take your aggression out on the on the dust viruses instead. God. Come here. Come here. Sucky sucky. Ah, yeah. Don't miss a single shot or bad happens. There we go. A chasm separates you and those darn dust viruses. You're too far away to suck them up, but perhaps there's another one. Yep, we got figured that out. We good. Wolf or wolf? Humidity is 5%. Success rate for for a fish trying to breathe. Oh, wait. The air humidity level is... There's a 5% chance for a fish to survive at breathing here. Jeez. Slightly dark. Come back here. Alright, so I need to go like all the way around to get my way in there? Yes. Yes. Ha ha! Stop that. They're beginning to use attacks on me. How dare they? Knowest thou not who I am? Okay. So the door... Hmm. The door stayed open, but the enemy respawned. That was the reason that the door was closed in the first place, so it's a little weird. Ah, yes. Yes, indeed. 
it is time for you to have reguloids of your own. How beautiful. To become a home. May your head always be a safe and warm resting place for the precious Glandus Lux Seed. Yes, yes, yes. Woof woof. Golden summer light dabbled oak leaves, the scent of a freshly bruised crabgrass and dandelions. An unexpected cool breeze drifts in from across the lake. A tawny rabbit sits on the and sniffs before hopping into the bushes. Okay, I'm gonna eat you now. I just want to help, Nova. I'm no dust virus. I know. I'm killing you on purpose. <laughs> a Reguloid, personal edition. Another one of the three elements of nurturing. The Reguloid will adapt to Nova's head into the perfect environment for a thriving grand glandulox seed. I don't- I've been alive for moments and I'm like this weird body horror host for this seed. I'm cultivated from, from before my birth to be this host. And like this regulator's gonna go inside me and make me a proper host because I'm not because I'm not even naturally capable of being a host. A little, just a little off-putting. It's just really concerning on like every level, like all of the levels. Can I wall climb? Nope. Wow, it's beautiful. Not fucking horrifying at all. <laughs> it's, it's, it's horrible. Oh, this is like the thing you read? Do you lay down on it like a coffin? Chalaza the Eighth. Ah, Nova. Hmm. After all this time, we meet at last. Ah. Hmm. Nova. Hey. What were we talking about? All oh, right. I am the ancient Chalaza tree, keeper of the sacred knowledge of the Albumen's shore. From the day you washed up on our shores, I have chronicled your journey and... Oh! What a journey it's been. Reflect with me upon those sweet and daring stories that now drift upon the hazy river of the past. You remember the blustery, serial-obsessed Yolk of Yami inhabitants. The laid-back denizens of the Yolk of Sippy. How about those kind and conscientious caretakers of the Yolk of Cozy? Ah, I have laughed. I have cried. I have prayed for wisdom to bless your decisions. Your thunderous triumphs and your arduous struggles shall be etched into my branches for all eternity. And now, you have arrived here at the pinnacle of Mount Vitellin, from which one can survey the furthest reaches of this expansive land. Have you the three elements of nurturing? Ah, wonderful. Then my epic of anticipation is complete. Nova, I grant to you the Glandus Lux Seed. And now, Nova, it is time. Already I can feel my power fading. The age of Albumen draws to a close. Quickly, Nova, lay yourself down upon the hatch line. And with the last of my energy, I will send you to the great beyond. Hello? Well... Real life seems a little concerning. They're kind of nailing it with this visual style though so far. In the 3D areas. Look at this place. Santa Sanctuary. Oh, that's trippy. They have one texture, but then they have a spinning shadow over the texture. 
And these tubes are have scrolling textures. Aesthetically, it's retro, but it's doing a lot of stuff that I don't think was possible back then at all. Nova, you made it. I'll tell you all about the device soon, but for now, come over to me for a quick chat. Aren't I already talking to you? I guess not. There you are, darling hatchling. I knew you could make it. Welcome to Alive. Nova, you are in Center Sanctuary. The dwelling place at the center. The center is, well, it's hard to explain to someone who's only just hatched, isn't it? The center is the, the center. It created all of us. Along with our world. The island of, the, of New Thaland. The center is like an artist. And we are its painting. A beautiful expression of its vision. The center is everything. Or rather, the center is simply is. Our lives are like shadows cast by the center's true form. Which will one day become apparent. The center, it's... The center. Senator of New Thailand. Painter, shadow puppeteer, literally everything? Mommy? A figure beyond comprehension. Are you my mommy? Hmm. Perhaps we are all the artists and art of New Thailand. We shape and are shaped by each other. By treating our neighbors with kindness, we build each other up. Um, well... I don't know if I'd go that far, pal Palisade, but, uh... What good we may accomplish flows directly from the righteous of the center. Regardless, we must focus. Nova, listen closely. I will now reveal to you your true purpose and path ahead. You have been born into a war zone, Nova. Granted, it is not a contest of swords and guns or armies or infantry. We wage a war that is nearly invisible and yet wholly insidious. We face a deadly force that wrinkles the face of time. As a lurking water beast ripples the surface of a lake, disrupting the clear reflection of our souls. We call it nanodust. It starts small, a microscopic seed planted in some dark, moist corner of one's organs. Then the nanodust grows. It feeds upon the structure of our minds, magnifying our fears, our wrath, our wrongful desires. Eventually it blossoms into its full scale, completely obliterating the identity of the host. Symmetry, beautiful symmetry, is our birthright as creations of the center, and yet we lose ourselves in the dust. We begin to decay, to decompose, to crumble. Dust begets dust, and we forsake our true selves. Nova, perhaps your true purpose is now becoming apparent. We were given the abilities to shrink and to clean so that you might reverse the tide of the dust that threatens to overwhelm us. You must travel far and wide, shrinking inside the inhabitants of New Thailand, those most consumed by the dust contamination. You... Suddenly a tiny spark flies towards Nova's head. What's that? Palisade card activate. Palisade creates a barrier using her shield containing the spark in a glowing cube. A nano intruder attempting to infiltrate your body. Nova, I can contain it temporarily, but you must shrink to nanoscale to destroy it. Don't be afraid, sweetheart. I'll be right here. I know you can do it. Okay, so the, the takeaway is definitely that this game is creepy on purpose. Yeah. There's some there's some early stuff that was implying creepiness, but it just actually keeps getting creepier. Hello. So is this where all the gameplay happens? Is the is the 3D just a hub world basically? It might be. Hmm. This is the oddest game so far.
But so far, very heavy on the dust element. Friend? N Nova, is that you? How did I get here? He's scared. Oh, Because it's infected. This is like a shitty, horrible version of what we saw before. Like, this is what happens when things go bad and things get infected. Hello. The Nano Assassin. Nova will die. The center will crumble. Dust will consume New Thaland. <laughs> oh boy, here it comes. <laughs> Gah. Gah. I'm missing. The hitbox looks like it would be go a little higher than that. God damn it. I'm missing my attacks, which is bad if I run out completely. <laughs> Nova will die. The center will crumble. Dust will consume. <gasps> New Thaland. Gameplay is pretty basic so far. It kind of feels like it won't necessarily get that much more complicated. I'm curious. A nano cleaner. She exists, and she was born to dust, to clean, to rescue. May she protect all of us from harm. May the nano cleaner save New Thaland and its denizens from their fate. Hmm. All right, we got a little fight, got a little story, some intro. This is probably enough to sell people on this if they want to take a look at it. So, if you'd like to check this game out, there's a link in the description to the store page, so you can go check out Anodyne 2 for yourself, and I, and I guess there was also a previous game, which I think I saw before, too. I think that one had more of a Zelda, like, 2D Zelda, uh, like, visual approach to it. I think it was all 2D. I think I remember Anodyne 1 having, like, a Game Boy aesthetic, like, it was... Everything was black and white, but in that weird like grayscale of like greenness that then that the Game Boy originally was. I think that's I think I'm thinking of the right game. But yeah, thank you to the developers for sending me a code so I could preview their game. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.